So good morning and welcome to um, the first in the series of episode, I'm sorry, series three of Live That Would Code That UK Live with my awesome Year 11 class. I want to introduce um, something that will hopefully be really helpful for students as you prepare for your on-screen test. I've had lots of students say um, that it is um, uh, it is difficult going um, into a high-pressure situation of that on-screen Python test. And is there anything that I can do to help get prepared? Um, so I've been working really hard with some students to try and get some instant feedback as you work through some um, exam questions. The plan is to have a mini series of six um, weeks of live that code uk or compete that code uk and each one will focus on a different style of question so this first one is going to be for question one which is kind of the simplest style question um where you've just got to fill in the, the blanks um, and i've given you three question one style activities uh, in this video i'm going to go through the first challenge um so if you're watching at home you can just pause the video and go straight into it um those of you who are in the class with me at the moment we're going to do a walkthrough of this first one so obviously in the exam itself, you're not going to be able to access the internet. You're not going to have a, a video that explains it, but I've tried to structure it in the same kind of way. Um, so we've got some code here. I'm going to open this in another window um, so that you can see the questions at the same time as um, the code that you're working on. But both should work even if you do it lower down. And let's see. Scientist wants to find out how, mu how much different items would weigh on the moon. I've written a program which allows you to enter the mass of an object in kilograms and it'll tell you how much it'll weigh both on Earth and on the moon. So sometimes you get a working program like this, um, like my year 11's, your most recent mock had questions like this down at the bottom. Sometimes you get a broken program with things that are missing. So challenge two donuts is like that. And sometimes it's just kind of a fill in the gaps. So like the third one on here. Um, the bullet points on your question paper, remember we talked about this when we went through the mock exam, I would recommend on your printed exam paper, you tick them off as you go, and you just work through in order. You find the relevant comments that match up with your bullet points and see if we can do this. So amend the lines at the bottom of the code to give an identifier of a constant used in the code. Let's have a look. The identifier of a constant. Um, here we go, the identifier of a constant. Well, what have we got? We've got moon gravity or earth gravity. That's what needs to go over here. And hopefully we should get the marks for that if I've done it properly. Come on, suspense is killing me. Uh, it's probably not going to work on incognito mode. Um, but it should go green for you when you do that for you. I think incognito mode is blocking the cookies that makes this work. We'll see. Uh, and then the name of a user defined function. Um, so we only have one subprogram here. A lot of us got caught out in the mock because we gave the name of a procedure instead of a function. There's only one here and it does return a value. So we want the name of a user defined function. And then we work through and it should hopefully, um, hmm, we'll see, we'll test it out later, um, give you the points as soon as you do it so that you know if it's working or not. Let's check it when it's not in incognito mode. Um, and see if it works. No pressure. Let's see. Let's try. Yeah. Um, so in the actual exam, I think there's about 15 marks worth. I've only given you about five challenges to work through. Let's see. The identifier of a constant. Have I still got that in the clipboard? Nope. I've got the link. Here we go. Earth gravity. Make some extra space so that the interface doesn't get in the way. And it should self mark. Oh dear, I've only got one question in there. <laughs> so it needs some debugging. Um, but the plan is to give you a couple of challenges for each style of each question, um, which you get the points for if you're on compete.co.uk. Even if your school hasn't signed up, you can put your name in um, and press the little tick to generate a PDF to share with your teacher that tells you how far through that you've got. Um, so that you can practice. Remember, the mantra is you want to be an experienced programmer, you want to be a confident programmer. Well, confidence comes with experience. Experience comes with practice. And practice comes when you regularly choose to invest the time and the effort. And I'm really proud of all of the students who are regularly choosing to put the time and effort in. It pays off because you get practice. And the practice turns into experience. And the experience turns into confidence. 
And this exam is one that you can ace. It just takes that decision to regularly put the time and effort in. So all the very best. Let me know how you get on. Um, and if it's useful, we'll have a series of these for each of the question types <coughs> in the paper.